What's up, everybody? So I wanted to start a little something different. I wanted to share some videos and start speaking to people that have come from not so perfect backgrounds, if you will. People that are very similar to myself to give hope, to give hope in that no matter what we've been through, where we come from, what our current circumstances are, there's hope. There's hope to do things in life. There's more in life. And um, I, what I really wanted to do, I really wanted to start sharing these videos, like I said, to give people hope. But at the same time, I, I want these to be uncut videos. I don't want to start sharing videos that have been... Um, that I have been cut. I don't want to share videos that that I think what I want you to hear. I want you to hear it live and real. I mean, honestly, that's that's what I want. And that's what I feel like God wants me to do as well. So that's what we're going to do. I want to, uh, this is going to be a part one of who knows how many. And what, what, what these videos stem from is... We can listen to motivational stuff all the time. And although they do motivate us, but so often they don't really keep us going. Because I always say motivation will get me going, but my purpose in life will keep me going. And the motivational videos a lot of them don't tell you exactly how everything went down because they're edited, they're cut. So that's what I was wanting to do. I was wanting to do something a little different. And so I'm just going to do probably 10, 15 minutes tops per video. In each video, I'm just going to pick up kind of where I left off. And I want to start by saying that this is going to encourage me. This is kind of going to hold me accountable, if you will, to keep me motivated, to keep me focused on my purpose, focused on the things that matter in life. And I love helping people. I want to help. I want to help people by sharing my testimony and what I've been through, where I am now, and where I really want to be in life and what I feel God's calling me to be in life. So let's get right to it. I, um, just a brief background. I, uh, I, w I was one to, to come up in, in uh, single family, didn't have brothers or sisters. My parents got divorced when I was really young. I, uh, I grew up all the time insecure, always getting in trouble. I was diagnosed with ADD and later OCD, but ADD in the second grade, I was very insecure, not confident. It seemed like I always struggled and I always had to do things that would get me in trouble to stand out, to be, to be liked, to be accepted. And I started using probably uh, weed and, and drinking at a very young age, probably, uh, well, not, not, not as young as some that I've heard, but six, probably, probably sixth grade is when I started. And that went all the way up until two years ago, honestly. Uh, the drugs varied, but that's where, that's where I started. And so my family, they didn't have money, just an average family, uh, putting food on the table, on the table providers. And when I, when I went into to middle school, everything just stayed the same, stayed the same. Nothing really changed. Um, I had no real drive, no real purpose, still trying to find out who I was as a person and who I was and, and what my purpose was here on this earth and where I fit in, where, where was my place at in the world? And I met my, uh, my first wife 
in high school when we turned 18, moved out, had a couple kids, and um, the 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 drugs were still evident in my life, and and I continued down a path to where I was. It was just self destruction and depression, and and I want to reiterate that that we can doesn't matter where we come from or where we are right now, what our current circumstances is, we can still make the most out of our life. We have to believe that, that there's more and that we can do anything that we want to do, anything that we want to put our minds to and, and focus on, we can do. So moving forward, I didn't graduate high school. Uh, I actually got kicked out of high school and I divorced um, my, my first wife and uh, was married just one other time. Uh, that ended in divorce also. And when I got kicked out of school, it took me probably about two years for me to get my GED. I always had an entrepreneur mindset and I owned a, uh, a detail business. I, had, I actually had three of them over the course of my life thus far and I always had that mindset and inventor's mindset. I just didn't know where to take it, where to direct it. I had no direction. I had a stepdad that was a great provider. My dad was not in my life to lead me and guide me as I felt that he should have. But again, that doesn't matter. We can still make the most out of our life. So moving through high school, didn't end up getting a divorce though until I was 27. So I was with her from, from 18 to 27. And again, never stopped doing drugs. I always did weed, uh, probably cocaine a lot, acid, drinking, did, did all these things all the way up until 27. And then when I got a divorce, I was so depressed and I had no direction. I had an average job detailing cars. Uh, at a at a dealership, and um, I had dreams and I had hopes of where I could be and could go. I just never could put everything together to make that happen. And so after the divorce, I did what so many of us do: want to want to live like the world does, want to want to go after material things and uh, compare our life and, and try to be um, equal to people that, that are surrounding us. And that's exactly what I did. I went out and bought a new car, bought a house, um, ended up losing the house. But when I was, when I was 27, that's when my, my opiate and then soon to turn in heroin addiction happened. And things just stayed its course. I was in active addiction all the way up until I was 42 years old. I'm 44 now. And moving forward, I never had just amazing doors open for me. Uh, my, my, my second marriage, we started a detail business again, which failed because of my addiction and the divorce happened due to my addiction. I couldn't get right. And I've been to four treatment centers and all the way leading up to there, I wanna give you guys hope that it probably won't be on this video, but it will be on videos to come. And I want you to stay tuned because I want you to hear me on this. I want, to, I want you to hear me because I'm in so much of a better place than I am when, that, than I was. I'm in so much of a better place. And it took me hitting my rock bottom. And you're going to hear later that it, it took me being homeless, living in the woods for me to, to get to treatment and to find God and start living my life. And that's what I wanna share with you guys that if we can put our minds to it and start living with intention, 
start writing our dreams down, start start living with purpose, start changing our bad habits, start making the decision that we want more out of life. Forget our past, overcome our past. Let's move past that. What's done is done. Not we're in the right here, right now. And anything is possible. I, I, in the videos to come, I want to share with you guys the hope that has been brought to me. And I'm going to end this right now for, for, for this part one. But I want you to stay tuned. I want you to know that no matter what we've been through, there's hope. There's still hope. There's resources, there's people that want to help. And if we can put our trust and hope and come to know the Lord is our, our personal Savior, that's what you're going to hear that, that eventually turned everything around for me. Turn my life over to God, turn my life around, change my life. And it's given me more hope and direction and purpose in my life than I could have ever hoped for. So I'm going to leave us with this. I hope you guys stay tuned. If you if you find this in a place to where you're just down, uh, depressed, not feeling like you know what to do, don't know what to do next, I just want you to stay encouraged that there's hope, there's more. And I found it in Jesus Christ. I found it in knowing the Lord. I found it in, in actively seeking Him and allowing Him to change my life. So if you find this in that place, stay tuned. Look for part two, because I want you to see where I came from and where I am right now and where God is wanting to take me. I want, I want, you, to, I, I want you to have the hope that I've been given. And um, I would love to hear your stories. I would love to hear where you came from to where you are now and where you think God is taking you. So I want to leave you with this. God loves you. He's crazy about you. Be great on purpose. Find your purpose in Jesus and make that purpose bigger than your fears. And stay tuned. And, and I want to keep these coming. I want, to, I, want to, I want you to see what God's doing in my life and what he's going to do and what he can do in your life. So subscribe, like, comment. All that stuff helps get the video out in, in, in circulation, the algorithm, and, and more people can hear and see what God's doing and can do in a person's life who gives up all control and surrenders. Love y'all.